Alright boys, I enjoyed doing that last video I did where I just spectated the USA uh, cities. I want to do something different. Like we've never just like spectated like a normal scenario for a long time since like the AOH one days. So I want to do that with the Roman scenario just because it offers a interesting scenario to do it with. And yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be allowing them to conquer provinces and we're going to have eternal war on and uh yeah we're just gonna see how it all plays out we'll kind of watch europe at the start see how rome does how <laughs> rome fares against the the border gore that we're gonna see this game but the border gore is going to be terrible i apologize it'll be worth it though it'll be worth it trust me maybe an island nation will do good or maybe like a indian tribe or something if my map stays in one fucking place Boys, we're 26 turns in, and the map already looks like shit. I think we're in for a good one, boys. This Gas Gascony is doing pretty well. Like, they've taken over a lot of land, and they really only have one direction to go in. Like, Rome is probably going to fall here, I think. I don't see them winning. Maybe they can defend their, their mainland here, but <laughs> they're going to lose a lot. Han China not doing amazing, but they could be doing a little bit better. The Japan Island will be pretty interesting to watch. We got a basically united Korea at this point. For some reason, some of the countries aren't going to war with each other. I don't know why that is exactly. But uh, it's kind of interesting. Gascony could be in trouble though as the Moors move into Spain. That might help Rome reclaim some of their land here and kind of, you know, form a little bit of a insurgency in the region. Like, Rome's even moved back into Carthage and shit. Like, this is not over for Rome. They can kind of rebuild here, but it'll take a really long time. We're seeing some colonization of Russia based. We have a gigantic Kush Africa also fairly based somehow israel is independent and not dead kind of crazy and they have a major african colony rome is kind of coming back though i'm not gonna lie will rome win that would be pretty crazy but they could come back from all this right like, no land has actually technically been lost. It's just, it's being all occupied by different countries. Mainly, mainly the Moors in Africa, who actually only really have to focus on Rome. So, it might be a pretty hard war for Rome to beat them, but they are kind of slowly pushing them back. But now they're starting to lose their land again to the, the tribes in the north who are just constantly at war. I feel like the island nations are going to do the best work here. Because, like, once they take their island over, like, they have nobody to worry about, right? Like, the picks are just rolling in now. Like, they don't give a fuck. Apparently, they've colonized Australia, of all places, though. This map is looking <laughs> really bad. I kind of regret doing this now. We've just made the ugliest map known to man on, on this game. Boys, who is the winner of this world right now? It says Rome is in first place, which I highly doubt, right? I highly doubt. It's apparently Sahun, Sahun, greatest country on earth, or Subi. Boys, based on the cursed map we've created, I say we've gone too far. We're probably going to end it here. This is definitely a mistake, and I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.